Hey y'all, Wilson here. Uh, this recipe takes the traditions of the Louisiana Bayou and puts a little spin on a modern spin on a hamburger. Just picture it: succulent ground pork mixed with boudin, cooked to perfection, where you get a nice crust out of a burger. And just when you think that's awesome enough, then we're going to crown this thing with just pack full of delicious flavors with some white cheese and some sliced, thinly sliced up onions that have danced with a stout beer or whatever beer that you like or have on hand. Mm. But the real kicker is the generous smear of hot pepper jelly that goes on this burger. Combine all those flavors together, you'll think you're back in New Orleans where music fills the air and Southern cuisine reigns supreme. I promise you these burgers aren't just a meal. They're an experience that'll leave not only your palate but oh hell, also your guests and friends and family. I want to know when you're gonna make them again. So we're gonna to get to it. The beauty of this is it doesn't take a lot of seasoning. Hell, it doesn't really take any because the boudin contains almost all of it. As does our pork sausage. You can get it spicy. You can get it regular. Spicy gives it more of a kick. Most of the flavor is always in this boudin here, though. If you don't know what boudin is, it's like a rice pork mixture with all kinds of amazing seasonings and just. Damn goodness, quite frankly. But it comes in a casing, so we don't want the casing for this. So what we're going to cut it just like this. And then we're going to pull all the stuff out of the casing. And if you've got a nice canine friend, you can give this directly to them. They love this stuff. Uh, otherwise, you can just toss it. We'll take our sausage. And now we're just going to mix this together till it's super, super thoroughly done. I'm going to bore you with this, so I'll see you when I'm unpounding out the burgers. But essentially, all we're going to do is mix this up together really great. Get this pork infused with this boudin. And pound down our burgers. That simple. So when I go to pound these out, it's basically, I do it the same way I do with a slam burger. But I know we're not making slam burgers. But you can do the same concept. Something about that size. Nice and solid, moved around a lot in your hand, and then just slowly press it out to the size that you want it to be. Now it all has fat in there, so there's always some shrinkage you got to take into account for. But that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to knock out the rest of these. So one of the first things we want to do is get our skillet really hot. So we want this over at least medium high heat, um, somewhere right in between of that, so we can get this going. Let's get a little smoke going. We're gonna put some oil in there and then we'll get the burger put in. So we've got some light smoke coming off, gotta heat it up. Now it's gonna be time to drop the burger in there. So this is what we're looking for, a nice golden crust on this, on this hamburger. And that's basically the rice and the pork all mixing together. Mm, which you can smell this. Now we're gonna pull it. Put it just like that. Get our cheese and put it on top of it and melt it. And now we're going to add in our beer and onions. And just a splash of beer. And get that reduced down so the onions are nice and soft. Right, I'm going to go ahead and get our hot pepper jelly and put it on the bottom of our bun for this burger. Move around just like that. They've already been toasted, so it'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and load it up while I wait for the onions to come out. So we've got our onions reduced down. The beer's all evaporated out. Onions are perfectly softened. I'm just going to lay them right on top of that burger. Top it just like that. Well, there you have it. A New Orleans style boudin burger served with some fries and the other link of sausage or uh, boudin, um, boudin balls. Delicious. Can't wait to dig into it. This will be in volume four of the cookbook. Each one of my cookbooks I uh, donate to charity. This go around. I'm supporting uh, veterans groups. So link for that's going to be down below. Hit me a message. Let me know what you think. Uh, Cooking with Wilson. And that's without the G because I'm a bit country like that. Uh, email at uh, Gmail. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whichever one floats your boat. And let me know what your thoughts on it are. And keep this one thing in mind. Always be kind to unkind people because... God knows they need it. Till next time.